guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I was actually inspired by my husband um, with something he said on one of his videos. He did an inspiration on the trap line. And uh, today's video is going to be titled Inspiration from the She Cave. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot. And um, his inspiration from the trap line was in regard to Ephesians 4.29, which says, Do not use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And he was talking about, you know, how we speak to others and how important it is for him um, to learn to be cautious on how he speaks to his family and that it, um, his family is the most important to him and, and he is being really um, conscious of, of making, you know, those efforts. And... Honestly, I have to say I'm very proud of him. Um, his inspiration that he is sharing with you is um, really awesome. It's really awesome to watch. And um, he has grown so much and is just, he just awes me. And I am just thoroughly proud of, of him and all that he does and his walk with Jesus. And in him saying that, um, as a spouse, as his wife... I wanted to share something that I've gleaned from our marriage and something that's very important to me and that is grace. Um, God gives us grace all the time. If you look at um, 2 Corinthians 12, 9, um, each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. This is so true, guys. We, we as a family have had a rough walk over the last couple of years uh, with my illness and, and our financials and um, as a result of my illness. And it's been, it's been really awesome to watch how God works. And, and it's so true. His grace is there all the time. But through our weakest points, He shines through it in such tremendous ways. And I feel as a Christian, it is our job to return that, that grace. Um, through him and through us, we can show grace to other people. And something that I have been working on greatly is showing grace to my family. Um, as Glenn mentioned in his, vi in his video, you know, that when he's stressed, you know, we all handle things in our lives differently than others. When we are under pressure, when we have a huge to-do list, whatever the case may be, when we're sick, you know, we may not always react and, and be the nicest. And, and for the receiving end of that, it's hurtful and it's hard and you can choose to be bitter and you can choose to retaliate. But that's never been my my nature. My nature has always been, I just find the shiny penny in every situation. And if I can't find it, I, I make it, you know. Um, it's just something I strive for. I strive to wear my smile with every outfit, regardless how I feel in the beginning of the day. Because with this illness, I never know from day to day, sometimes even throughout my day, what, my, what I'm going to feel like. So... It's really important that we show each other grace in our low spots because God shows his grace. And that can be such a stepping stone and such a, a builder and rebuilder in a home. You know, when someone's having a hard time, by you showing them grace, you know, it could very well turn their day around. Uh, it, it can teach them things. So... You know, as you progress and as you grow in your marriage and in your family with your children, you know, it's really important for me to not only talk the talk, but walk the walk. And my family is my pride and joy. They are my first. They are my always. You know, God God is first, but my family is, is something that I value very strongly. And... Um, by showing grace, we can change lives. By showing grace, we can show what he's made of through ourselves and continue to build and grow on the relationships around you, um, even to strangers. You know, 
oftentimes, you know, you go to the grocery store, you'll be out in the road and there'll be somebody with road rage or somebody at the grocery store that's just being absolutely obnoxious to the checkout clerk or whatever the case may be, you know, showing them grace and killing people with kindness. That's always been something I enjoyed doing. Uh, I, my goal when I used to waitress, um, was to kill those miserable people with kindness so that by the end of their visit, they were changed people. And they were always my challenge and always my, my highlight to my day because I wanted, to, I wanted to be able to turn them around. Didn't always work, or at least not in my presence. But we have that ability, and it's called a ripple effect. And regardless if it's just in, your, in the presence of your home or when you're out and about, you know, we have the ability to change lives. We have abilities to change the world one step at a time. And it's all through our choices. And, and it is just such an awesome thing to know that God shows his grace and that God is gracious to us all the time. And that through our weakest points in our lives, God is working and, and using us as a um, visual of his work and that's just so amazing to me I, I was really felt blessed when I got sick and I know that sounds really strange but I knew God used me as a vessel and as a vessel to save lives and to date we have saved 17 lives that we're aware of Lord only knows how many more and that's just such an awesome thing so God uses us all individually in special ways and his grace is there for all of us so when we stumble and when we fall and when we make mistakes and when we sin he shows us grace, and He's always there, and He's accepting. He's an accepting Father, and He will always forgive. And that's something else we need to do, but I'll save that for another inspiration from the She Cave. So today, just show grace, whether it's to your family, your spouse, your, your children. You know, we all have a story. We all have moments. We all have baggage that flares from time to time through experiences and through different circumstances. And when we show each other grace, we can help build each other up and oftentimes break away and chip away at the baggage and struggles that we have from previous parts of our lives. So show grace, guys. And thanks so much for all your communications, your activity, joining us, and just being a part of our community. We just so love you all and pray for you every day. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless, guys.